Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakach Hadash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusing the face brothers whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American. Now with that, um, you know, all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem uh I want to get some uh, scriptures and precepts on uh, us praising and glorifying the Heavenly Father's name, man. Because ultimately, that's what we were created for, man. That's what man was created for, was to praise the Heavenly Father's name, man. We're his uh, number one chosen people. So with that, I want to get uh, Psalms chapter 113. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord Yahweh. Praise the name of of the Lord Yahweh. Verse 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is, is to be praised, man. So, Khan, us in the know, man, we have to remember to always give uh, praise to the Heavenly Father, man. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. And the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. So we have to remember to uh, when we call on the name of the Lord that we have to do it through the uh, through his son's name, Yahweh Shai, because that's the only way that uh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to uh, hear us. And to get a scripture to uh, back that up, uh, bear with me. I came up. I'm looking up the scripture right now. <clears throat> Salakia. Khan, I found it. We're going to go to the book of um, St. John, chapter 14. In verse 6, and it reads, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, Yahweh, but by me. So come, going back into uh, Psalms, that's, that's how we, when we glorify the Heavenly Father's name, we have to always, that's why we say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba meaning in ha the shim name of his son Yahweh Shai, man. So kind going back into uh Psalms uh 113. Uh I believe I left off in verse 3, yeah. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's Yahweh name is to be praised, man. So kind. We're, we're supposed to constantly be thanking the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for everything that goes on in our life, man. You know, when we receive our daily bread for the day, shoot, we're supposed to give praise to Yahweh. You know, we're supposed to bless the, uh, I'm going to give scriptures that says uh, to bless the name of the Lord. Yeah, we, that's why we say, uh, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Verse and back in Psalms 113, verse 2, it says, Blessed be the name of the Lord, Yahweh, from this time forth and forevermore. Uh, jumping down to verse 4 of Psalms 113, the Lord, Yahweh, is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord, Yahweh, our power, who dwelleth on high? And no one is, man, because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai created everything, man. He made Yahweh uh, made the blueprint and 
he gave it to his son, Yahweh Shai, to actually do the work, man. Verse 6, who humbleth, him, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, out of the shit hill, man. Verse 8, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house. So Khan, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he can make a woman that can't have any children to have children, man. It's plenty of, of examples of that in these scriptures, man. And to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. So kind, we're supposed to always be praising the Heavenly Father, uh, Yahweh by Shem Shah. So to get another uh, scripture, I'm going to go to the book of um, uh, Ecclesiastes. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 13. And it reads, let me highlight this, Akim. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man, man. So, Khan, we're supposed to fear the Heavenly Father, and we're supposed to keep his commandments. Uh, Salaki, I'm in the park right now uh, recording this video epistle. And this person just cut on a, a, a leaf blower. Hopefully they don't come too close this way. So, Khan, let me read this again. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 13. And it reads... Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, mankind. So now I want to get another precept. This is going to be the, going back in the book of Psalms, chapter uh, 118, and verse 28. And it reads, Khan, let me highlight this real quick. Thou art my power, and I will praise thee. Thou art my power, I will exalt thee. Salaki, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. So, come, we're supposed to praise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, every chance that we get, man, every chance that our mind meditates on it, you know. We praise him. Shoot, I'm praising the Heavenly Father now by doing this video epistle. By I was just going through some scriptures, man, watching a couple videos, and then the Spirit jumped on me to praise the Heavenly Father. How could I, what better way could I do it than by making this video epistle, man, and loading it up onto the internet? So, come, I'm gonna get another, uh, a couple more uh, precepts. Akim, this is going to be the book of, um, yeah, Khan, I'm going to go to the book of Hebrews. Salakia, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 15. And it reads, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the heavenly father, Yahweh, continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name, man. So, come, man, we're supposed to uh, continually give praise to the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, let me read it again, Hebrews 13 and 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. So, come. Let the fruit of our lips, let our conversation be in good conversation, man. And let the fruit of our lips be giving thanks to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, man. So, Khan, uh, I'm going to get another precept going back into the book of Psalms. This time we're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 8. 
and it reads, I gotta highlight this. Give unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts, man. So Khan, we're supposed to give unto the Lord Yahweh the glory due unto his name, man. How we do that? By praising his name, by blessing his name, by thanking the Heavenly Father for giving us our daily bread, man. You know, whatever it is that uh, we receive daily, man, you know, giving continual thanks that we didn't wake up a bug out. You know what I'm saying? That we woke up and we still have these uh, scriptures and precepts on our minds, man. And they can come off our lips being broken down the correct way, man. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash, man. Barakatam. You know? So with that, I'm going to give a, a closing precept, and hopefully this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it, man. This is gonna, We're going to go to the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, which is also a part of the Bible, which is the Bible. Uh, kind, this is going to be the book of Sirach, chapter 43, and... Uh, I'm going to just start at uh, verse uh, 27, but my point is going to be in verse 30. This is Sirach chapter 43 and verse 27. We may speak much and yet come short, wherefore in some he is all. Kind of, and that's the prologue. That's a prologue to this uh, this book of Sirach. You know, we it says... We may speak much, yet come short in the uh, Hebrew, man. Verse 28, how shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. So, Khan, yeah, that's a question. How can we be made of Yahweh by Shem Shai? Magnify him, for he is great, greater than us, man. He, greater than his works. Where his works? Everything the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Shai created. Verse 29, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. Verse 30, when we glorify the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So come. That's right. We can never go far enough, man. In exalting the uh, Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, with that, I want to say again hopefully this video was edifying for those of you who may come across it. Call Haloyim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakah Kodash Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirit. Bless you. I also want to give double honors again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you Confusion the Face brothers that are out here pushing this gospel, which the gospel is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, man. So with that, I want to say a ball, a ball, and shalom.